New England Living TV is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, Wolf & Co. Kohler's Signature Store by Supply New England and Marvin Windows and Doors. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Welcome to New England Living, I'm Parker Kelly. And I am passionate about art, architecture, and design. I also love to travel, meet new people, and I'm definitely a foodie. Join me each week as I travel all over this beautiful region, showcasing the most spectacular homes and meeting the key players involved in creating them. To top it off, I'll cook up some delicious dish with a chef, and we'll finish it off with a celebration of it all. I'm Parker Kelly, and this is New England Living. Today I'm on my way to West Boxford, Massachusetts, settled in 1646. Boxford's history is in farming, and though just 25 miles north of Boston, it has a rural feeling with winding country roads, open fields, and plenty of horse farms. The town is heavily forested and intersected by numerous brooks and streams. It also has many ponds, scenic hiking trails, bike trails, and quintessential New England churches. Local favorites like Benson's Ice Cream, Lillooet Sheep Cheesery, and Paisley's Farm, which offers farm fresh produce and more than 100 different kinds of herbs, keep this rural country flavor alive. I'm on my way to meet Susan and Steve in their 3,500 square foot post and beam timber framed traditional salt box style home. The couple met in college and have been married for 32 years. They built their home 25 years ago. Five years after that experience, they left their careers and became full-time builders and now continue to run Howell Custom Building Group together. With their kids grown, they've decided it was time for another change. They recently renovated part of the first floor and kitchen, creating more sophisticated contemporary space geared towards entertaining friends and family. We're gonna meet this couple, tour their beautiful home, and then Steve and Susan are turning their brand new state-of-the-art kitchen over to Chef Carlo and me, and we're going to cook up a feast and celebrate New England Living in West Boxford, Massachusetts. Hi, Hi how are, are you? We finally meet. <laughs> Susan. Nice to meet you. Nice Come to on see in. You. Steve. Hi, Parker, Steve. Nice, nice to meet you. My goodness, this uh, country setting is lovely. lovely. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you. We're Thank excited you. to show I you our house. Good. Goodness. So this is what we recently renovated. One of the neat things about a timber frame is when you uh, build the frame, you put it all together and then you raise it in one day. And so this frame that you see is actually structural to the house. Okay. And so we got to have this wonderful um, timber frame raising day with oh, all of our friends oh. and family, many of whom helped us build the house. So we really, when we designed the house, it was to raise our young family and 25 years later our kids are now out of the house and we decided to make it more um, appropriate for this stage of life. Yes, for so for entertaining and having mm -hmm. your friends over and not yeah. really for Legos and little trucks. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, we just finished it in uh, this past fall. Okay. It's been just such a treat to have all these new New appliances, new everything. Um, oh, and things have, have really improved over 25 years. Right, is that induction? This is induction. Oh, you love that. Oh my I gosh. I that too. This is gorgeous. It never ceases to amaze me how fast I can boil yes. water <laughs> when I make tea. It's literally faster than the microwave. Yes, and when you turn it off, it stops, it stops immediately. immediately. I know, I love it's that. It's so too. responsive. Yeah. So, this was a wall before, and, and this just difference. opened up the yeah. view. So that if we have, you know, anyone's on the deck or in the living room, I can just be here cooking and talking, and um, it's just, and I just to have that view yeah. is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, explain it to me more. Yeah. So th there's there's no metal fasteners in the frame. It's all traditional mortise and tenon joinery mm -hmm. uh, that's pegged mm -hmm. with oak pegs, and then there's also dovetail joinery in the roof. Architecturally, inside it's just interesting. You know, a lot of homes on the inside mm. are just kind of... Yeah, so yeah, you get to see what holds mm -hmm. the house up. Yeah, exactly. So, so tell me about this painting, because the painting's really lovely. Yeah, so the painting was painted by Alan mm -hmm. Bull, based on a photo that we took when we were in Patagonia. And Alan did a great job really um, capturing 
the feel of that view and um, we wanted to bring some mountains into our house since we don't have mountains here in Boxford. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. And I love this material. I mean, this is beautiful too. Thank yeah, you. that's natural field stone. That, my brother is a stonemason and oh, yes. uh, he, he built the chimney from, from the ground up. Oh, did he? Originally with the house. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah so we'll show you upstairs. So we were going to show you Jake's room. So he must have just loved this very hip kids bedroom yeah. space. Yeah, it was kind of fun. It's mm -hmm. like a cascade of surfaces getting up into the loft. Yeah. This is our master bedroom. Oh, and uh, it's cozy. yeah, it's very cozy, beautiful view of the field. We love to read, as you can see, <laughs> there's no shortage of books. Yeah, that's a good bookshelf. Before we renovated the kitchen, one of an earlier renovation we did was renovating our master bath. And the goal here was to create a spa-like retreat mm -hmm. um, with a lot of natural materials. Yeah, really natural materials. Yeah. yeah. Just the tone of this is really nice too. I mean, your so, whole home has a really nice tonal quality that's very soothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks. And it's funny, we tear so many bathtubs out of people's homes in the projects. A lot of people don't use their bathtub, but I love yeah. taking a bath. And so this, uh, a lot of thought went into this design. I can see out, you know, to the field outside. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, there's a key right there. There's on a little wind. reading light in the corner. There's a little reading light, so, and then if there's a fire going, I open the window and I can smell the chimney oh. smoke. I feel like. Coming up. Oh, That's falafel. This is a right, veggie wrap, good, the homemade you. hummus. Clark, New England's official Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen offers three reasons to begin your project here. Explore the world's finest appliances. Then cook and taste Wolf's culinary perfection. Be inspired by innovative design. Do you crave extraordinary? Visit ClarkLiving.com to plan your visit. Imagine a place where you can design the kitchen or bath of your dreams. No need to travel from store to store to find exactly what you want. One place where you can design and shop the full line of world-class Kohler fixtures. Plus the top names in cabinetry. And hundreds of Kohler surface options. All with in-store design assistance. Visit the Kohler Signature Store today the perfect place to create your ideal space. Seamless indoor-outdoor living spaces are currently trending, and there's no better way to achieve this than through the use of glass elements in your design. Expansive windows and large walls of doors lead the sights, sounds, and feelings of an outdoor environment effortlessly through your space. The key is to allow as much natural light, airflow, and visual connection with the exterior as possible. Explore your options at marvin.com. Kumar Marble and Granite offers an inventory of more than 7,000 slabs under one roof. Our selection is both exquisite and rare, sourced from countries all over the world. Seventh generation stone artist Evo Kubi leads a stellar team of artisans who take clients' wildest dreams and carve them into stone. Kumar is the go-to place for trade professionals and lovers of unique stones and complicated fabrication. Kumar has something to fit every style and price point, whether it be for inside or outside use. Book an appointment and check it out for yourself. After the tour of Steve and Susan's home, we headed out for a bite to eat at West Village Provisions. They introduced me to owners Mike and Kim, who turned an old town general store into a sandwich shop that supports many local farmers and craftspeople. The sandwiches, by the way, were delicious. Yum. Thank you. That's falafel. This is our right, veggie wrap, the homemade hummus. Yeah. All right, thank you. Oh, that turkey meat does look good. Yeah. That looks great, thank it's you. Delicious. With our bellies full, we headed to Lockwood Trail for a walk. One of the many things Steve and Susan love about living in Boxford is its hiking trails. our walk, we had one more place to stop for the day. 
one of the projects Susan and Steve are really proud of. iFarm, a restored 19th century farmstead set on nearly 20 acres, purchased about 10 years ago by Christine Berensfeld. She rescued the farm from being developed and subdivided. Her goal at iFarm is to reconnect people with the earth through diverse educational experiences. Part of my vision of uh, the pro project was to um, bring back the historical component of the property to, to the mid to late 1800s. So kind of pre-industrialized um, period in time and get people to come here to appreciate a simpler lifestyle. We have a number of um, events for people to sign up for and, and enjoy the garden. Um, we do organic raspberry patch program coming up. We have a create your own organic kitchen garden. Uh, we've had some beer making, we've done soap making, a bunch of homesteading things. And well, it's, it's amazing what you've been able to do in how many years now? Uh, nine years. Since for nine years. Yeah. I was introduced to a woman named Lilibeth Weiss who has a background in permaculture design. And so we created pretty much of a poster child um, example of, of how permaculture can be used to create an edible food forest uh, to sustain a neighborhood or a few families uh, who live in proximity to each other. Well, nice to chat with you. Thank you very much. What a beautiful place. Really beautiful. Thanks. Come again. Yeah, I will. Coming up. We wanted to preserve the integrity of that architecture, number one. So back home, it's um, food, it's like going to church. Life is short, you know, do yeah. what you love. How do you want to live? As a decent person? A fine human being? A good friend? Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. One of a kind. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a standard bearer. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. GMC. How do you define a legend? Start with rugged capability, strength, the confidence to take nature head on. Add experience, skill, mastery of the situation. At Boston Whaler, our legend thrives in boats designed to handle the roughest conditions. With cutting edge features that satisfy the needs of serious anglers and performance that never falters. Boston Whaler, catch the legend. Clark, New England's official Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen offers three reasons to begin your project here. Explore the world's finest appliances. Then cook and taste Wolf's culinary perfection. Be inspired by innovative design. Do you crave extraordinary? Visit ClarkLiving.com to plan your visit. Before the dinner party, I had a lot of ground to cover. There were lots of places I wanted to visit and people I wanted to meet. First up was Holly Gagne, the interior designer who played such an important role in Susan and Steve's renovation. I met up with her at her home studio, which was just as cool and authentic as she was. Susan's kitchen is just amazing, amazing. Apparently, um, Steve had also had his design. Do you yes. know that story? <laughs> I love like, that story. I love this design. <laughs> and, then, and then he sees yours and he's like, crumble, crumble. <laughs> I didn't do a design. <laughs> Not me. Oh, no, no. He, he was like, I didn't think anybody could actually top it. Yeah. So, no, that um, kitchen was, you know, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I loved working with them because. They lived in that house for 25 years. They built it, they designed it, they were in it emotionally. We wanted to preserve the integrity of that architecture, number one. Oh, they designed great. it and we wanted it to be shown and exposed and um, all we wanted to do is open it up so you could see it even more. Yeah. The waterfall 
Is yeah. It, was it black? Uh, walnut? The walnut. Yes. Oh my gosh, is that gorgeous? And the two sideboards of yes. that same material, yeah. all the different kind of wood, and the way they integrate is just stunning. Yes. stunning. yes. I mean, it, the house needed yeah. that sort of nature feel. It needed the real wood. It needed it to be elegant and feel. It needed to really kind of work with what they had built originally. And yeah, and the um, uh, their collections because they're travelers. Yeah, you know, so their collections and going up the stairway. Yes. They had their very specific interests. They travel a lot. They collected a lot. Yeah, that's what makes a home home. It makes it their home. Mm -hmm. And there was no way I was taking that away. Um, we just kind of went in and added some plant life and yeah. spruced it up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Like they they had some of the ideas yeah. and then you just tweaked it like, yeah just, you know, know, just a little, little bit more yeah. to show off what they had and yeah. I think it ended up being a good balance. Yeah. I know Susan can't wait to have the dinner party and can't wait to have all the people see yes. um, the way the house is transformed because these are a lot of them are her friends from college oh, I know. that she hasn't seen. I can't wait to hear yeah. about it. So nice to meet you. So Continued nice to meet you. success really. Thank you so much. All right absolutely. I'm here with Alan Bull. He is the artist who did that beautiful painting on Steve and Susan's above their mantle, the one of uh, the Patagonian scene. Love the painting. Thank you. What kind of art do you uh, do typically? I mean, this, do you have a typical style or a typical medium? I usually work in oils. Um, I've been doing larger, larger sizes lately, uh, such as this one behind us. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, a lot of people know me for the paintings of old farm trucks that I do. I'm working on a series right now um, called the Red Chair Portrait Project, and I'm painting some musicians, um, some very well-known musicians, and those will be auctioned off to raise money for AIDS charities. Oh, that's awesome. I think from age seven, I knew I wanted to be an artist in some capacity. Oh, yeah. And I, uh, what I love now is I teach um, privately here at the studio. Oh, you do? Oh, and, nice and at different art centers. And oftentimes I'll get people that sort of set art aside when they were a child, mm -hmm. but they loved it and they're finally getting back to it, and they're so good. Mm -hmm. I, I just love to encourage people, and um, yeah. I'd say that to any of your viewers, you know? Yeah. Just go for it, yeah. because life is short, you know? Do yeah. what you love. Yeah, life is short, and there's so many things to paint. Get out there. <laughs> yeah. Get out there and paint. Yeah. After meeting the artist, I was off to Andover, a neighboring town, to meet Chef Carlo at his and his wife's modern Mediterranean restaurant, Yellow Grill. They met me at the door. They were immediately likable, warm, and friendly. I had a chance to chat with each of them and, of course, taste some delicious dishes. Tell us what you have out here already for us to have for lunch. We have falafel salad. The falafel I do it from scratch. Um, this is what my mom used to do at her house back home, everything from scratch. Here we have Napoleon Melanzani. That looks so absolutely delicious. So we have layer delicious. of uh, eggplant, mm. tomato, mozzarella, and uh, some arugula and some fried chips on top. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. And we have chicken pesto flat bread. So Lebanese is your background? Yes. Yes, Lebanese. Mm -hmm. So back home, it's um, mm. food, it's like going to church. You have to be <laughs> on breakfast, mm -hmm. lunch, dinner, you have to be there That's all lovely. the time. And my mom, just what she did all her life, just cook for us. So I'm originally Lebanese, my wife, she's Italian. Um, so I take everything from the Mediterranean. I put my magic touch on it. Yeah, so talk about Danielle. So how did your partnership, um, how did it start and how does it work here at the restaurant? Danielle, Danielle, we, um, we went best friends every day together. We cannot go to the supermarket without each other. <laughs> like, so every, and, and lots of people, they say like, you cannot do business with your wife. Yeah. Uh, I cannot do it without her. Yeah. Uh, if without her, like, I, I cannot do what I do. So talk about, well, first just talk about you, your background, he said you're Italian. Yes, yes I am, I have a big family. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up just food is everything. So uh, my Nana, she was the most amazing cook and she had 29 grandchildren. 29? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot yeah. of yeah. grandchildren. Yeah. That's she, a lot of cooking. It's a lot of cooking. Yeah. And we would go over to her house on Sundays and she knows everybody's favorite dish. And I don't know, I learned at an early age that food just it has a way of making you feel taken care of. So is it this intimate setting? Uh, you ha have won a lot of awards, and one yes. of them, and one of the, the notable things they say is that you're uh, a romantic place. Yes, And yes. so where did you, how did you decide, okay, this is the size and the shape we're going to do? Yeah. Well, actually, so I lived in Italy for a time, 
And my favorite thing about it there was all these little tucked away trattorias. And I loved that the owner would kind of come out and make people feel good to be there and, you know, give them some wine and make sure they were having a good time. And, you know, it was really important for me to find something that was that just radiated that warmth and that energy. And as soon as we, we had looked at, oh my goodness, I don't even know how many places, but as soon as we walked in the door with this place, we said, this is it. It was so yeah, nice to meet you. you too. Looking you too. forward to this yeah. dinner with Carlo Absolutely. tonight. Me too. Are you going to be there too? I will. I will. Coming up. We should open a restaurant. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Innovation, technology, design. It is why the Seaport District is the fastest growing area in Boston. It's also the reason we selected the Innovation District as the home of Seven Tide. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind experience filled with design inspiration, a place where you can explore, see your ideas come to life, this is the place. Think of Seven Tide as a design adventure for your home, featuring the most trusted top tier brands in their industries. For homeowners and designers alike, it's a unique approach to home design. You can visit Clark's newest Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen, giving you hands-on access to the world's finest appliances, or take in the country's first experience center for Marvin windows and doors. Our goal is to provide inspiration in an exceptional space that offers a relaxed and very personal experience. If you like what you see, we'll refer you to an authorized dealer. But while you're at Seven Tide, there's no pressure. Even the parking is complimentary. We want to cultivate an atmosphere that's free from anxiety so you can focus on what's right for the design of your home. New England has some of the finest designers in the country, and here you'll see an exciting array of their work in full-scale kitchens. You'll be able to see, touch, and even taste your kitchen design. Both inside and out, Seven Tide offers the perfect setting to bring your ideas to life. We want you to rethink what's possible. Adjacent to Clark, you'll find Marvin windows and doors. They offer a high-tech, high-touch experience that invites you to reset your expectations for what a home can be. After visiting Marvin, you'll never think about windows and doors the same way again. Whether you're a homeowner or a designer, building a new custom home or remodeling, we invite you to come experience the possibilities. Come be inspired, be informed, and ultimately be at home at Seven Tide. For more information for your home inspiration, visit SevenTide.com. Yours by design. Steve and Susan's neighbor, Peter Miriam, provided the wine for the dinner party. Although a New Englander, Peter and his family own a vineyard in California, and he was happy to talk about how that came about and about his pairing for the night's meal. I was a retailer in uh, Massachusetts, uh, a packy, a package store okay. in, uh, in Burlington, Massachusetts for 20 years. And that kind of set the pace uh, for my wife and I to look at vineyard land in Sonoma County. And, and actually the vineyard site that we're on uh, dates back to 1890. It was all Merlot when we, when we bought the vineyard, it was 12 acres. We have since uh, replanted that whole vineyard site. Um, so now on that vineyard we have uh, Cabernet, uh, more Merlot, Petit Verdot, and Cabernet Franc. Yeah, so talk about the menu, talk about tonight the dishes that you're, um, and the wine you're pairing with them. Uh, the lamb chops we call for a nice heavy uh, wine, so yeah. we've, we've selected our Cabernet Sauvignon. Really deep dark berry tones to it, yeah. it's going to go great with the, uh, with the lamb chops. Mm -hmm. and they're doing a, uh, a chocolate creme brulee, and we have a late harvest Cabernet Franc. Really dark, dark and rich. A normal grape that you would get at the grocery store, let's say, is like 14 or 16 percent sugar. Mm -hmm. With this late harvest wine, we allow it to raisin, to go to raisin on the vine, and it has about 30 to 32 percent sugar. Okay. It just kind of, you know, uh, sets the end uh, yeah. to the evening. Yeah. We meet again. We meet again. Yeah, we do. Uh, what do you think of this kitchen? It's unbelievable. <laughs> I like this too. Yeah. It's, it's like future. Uh, so we have this tenderloin cod. So and it's fresh, local fresh cod. Fresh cod, yeah. Mm -hmm. And always pepper it. Okay, so that's a pepper. Yeah. Don't be afraid from salt. Okay. Some people, they, if you put just a little bit like that, it yeah. won't be good. Yeah. So, so we're going to put our olive oil. Okay. Oh, now, yeah. it, now it's smoking, so it's ready. All right. When it's ready, yep. make sure it's even. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right, good. And you want to hear this? Oh, yeah. You want to hear that? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to put just a little risotto on it. Okay, that's the. How do you spell that? 
It's Z A A T A R. Okay. Zata. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's the key ingredient. Yes. That's what takes it from yes. ordinary to Mediterranean. Exactly. Yeah, gotcha. So should we have our uh, plate getting plated ready? So you have the saltiness from the cod. Yeah. You have the saltiness from the olives. And you have the sweetness oh, this is what you're gonna of the parsley puree. So it balances itself perfectly. Oh. Oh, that is so good. So me, I like to start here. You can go like that, or you can go like that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Put some za'atar on the plate. Okay. Make the plate look nice. pretty a little bit. Now let's turn these cards. I think they're ready. Okay. So I like to put some pesto on it too. Oh, yum. So we're going to put it in the oven. All right. This is a little trick if you have some guests coming over, you want your plate look nice at your house okay. so you don't have to put the vegetables just like down. Wondering where you're putting it. And we're going to put it here. Oh. And here we go. Ah. Okay. Mm. And now we're going to put some olives, calamara olives. So we're going to put some just pesto. Okay. When the cod come out, we're going to put it on top mm -hmm. and we have our dish. Mm. Okay. Come on, baby. That looks delightful. Oh, you stuck some asparagus in there, yes. too. I didn't see you do yeah. that. Just Bubbling now. On top. All right. Just oh. like that. Oh, now I'm really impressing my friends by putting yeah. it on top. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to put some asparagus on our plate. Oh. Wow, we have exactly. Exactly the yes. right amount. Put some chive okay. from Baisley's Farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Paisley's Farm seems great. You said that they will also um, grow herbs if you ask them. Yeah, if like they have nine type of herbs, nine. and if if they have like something like you, they don't have, they will grow it for you. Yeah. So here we go. Oh, that's pretty. Wait till the guests see cart. that. Mm -hmm. Should we try it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You should open a restaurant. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. I left Chef Carlo to his preparations and joined the party, which was in full swing. Many of the guests were friends and family who helped build the house 25 years ago. Susan brought out the old photo albums, and everyone had a great time reminiscing and admiring the new renovations. Thank you everybody for coming. How is everybody enjoying their dinner? Good? Oh, thank you, thank you. So now. Now we have uh, seared Australian lamb chop with truffle roasted potato, mushroom caramelized onion, and uh, ve roasted vegetable Napoleon. Enjoy your dinner, and um, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Loving couples, Susan and Steve, and Danielle and Carlo, great partners, I mean, as builders, as people in the restaurant industry, it's just beautiful. And this timber frame home, exceptional. And all, like so many of the family and friends helped to make it be, it's a beautiful thing. That's New England Living from West Boxford. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers. 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 <laughs>